Introducing the most sexiest man alive. He's energetic. He's charismatic. It's Jump Splat 120. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Hello, my name is Matthew on Jump Splat 120, and I am here to solve your Gold Lake dilemma. Now, first, let me explain to you why it's not working. The gold that you have is not a full block of gold. It is this little tiny sliver of gold right here, little less than a pixel. What you need is about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these suckers to make one full block of liquid gold. And the reason why is because each one of those is equal to one bucket. Scooped it right up. I'm in creative, so it disappeared. Now, because your entire lake is made of this, it's not going to be pumped out by normal means. However, you have added a mod called Mechanism. Mechanism has obviously never talked to the creator of Tinker's Construct, and therefore doesn't recognize this liquid as millibuckets the way it's supposed to. Therefore, if you power an electric pump added by Mechanism, it will pump up this molten gold, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000 millibuckets, instead of giving you 800 millibuckets. Now, how is this, what does this mean to you? Well, a millibucket, sorry, 1,000 millibuckets is a full bucket, a full block, or a full ingot. 100 millibuckets is, a, is equal to a nugget. Those little slivers are equal to a nugget, but nobody told mechanism. So if you get an electric pump, you power it, you can pull out your molten buckets of gold. What can you do with these molten gold buckets? Well, I'm about to show you. If you walk over to a tank, any old tank, it's very easy to make. It just takes a little bit of glass in a circle, just like that. You can a uh, attach a liquid wooden pipe to it. Any engine, I'm using a redstone engine because it's the easiest one there is. And then you can pump it into either a casting basin or a casting table. And voila, liquid gold. I hope I've solved your problem. If you have any more questions, leave it in the comments. Thank you, and have a nice day.